Hi everybody. I'm going to start doing fragrance reviews. Just quick raw videos. I'm not going to bother editing things. Um, I have not started the channel yet and I want to focus well, on any kind of fragrance really, but I do get subscriptions, scent bird and scent box, so I like to do those, which I wish there was more review of because um, I know when I want to add my list on my subscriptions, I like to see reviews of what's on, you know, the options on Scentbird, Scentbox, etc. But this actually happens to be from TJ Maxx, a little TJ Maxx blind buy, which I like to do very often, actually. Um, I don't even know how to flip my camera around so that you can read that. But it says Nostalgia Perfumery. And this fragrance in particular is called Lazy Summer. It says on the top, Nostalgia perfumes are curated from the world's finest essential oils made with only the good stuff like we hope your memories are. I like that. Um, let's see. On Fragrantica, because I had never heard of this. There are a lot of TJ Maxx, as you know, that you know you've never heard of you just I like to take my phone in there actually and look stuff up just take my time looking up what's available on their fragrance table at least that's how it's set up in my neighborhood at the TJ Maxx so looking on Fragrantica it says nostalgia collection is a USA or US based niche perfume house founded by Sola I'm not going to get this name right, but it looks like Okunarin, born in Africa and after extensive travels through Europe with his family who instilled in him a lifelong love of travel, Sola eventually settled in the United States. After traveling and forming new memories with his wife Mariko, he sought to bottle the memories of their wonderful travel experiences together in the form of fragrances inspired by a life of travel and the sensory memories created with each experience nostalgia collection was launched in 2015. now switching from fragrant fragrantica and looking over to the nostalgia site i actually like their site very much i like the idea of their their um brand you know, at the, oh, they've got lots of different fragrances to choose from. And like this fragrance on the site, it looks like they're all about $20 for the size of their fragrances. They've got uh, unisex fragrances as well. And honestly, with this inexpensive price, just because I like the branding and I like the idea, I wouldn't mind trying some more of them out, whether I keep this one or not. Um, so... This is Lazy Summer, and on their site, it says creamy caramel, sweet vanilla, and fruity, refreshing mandarin blend together to create the sweet scent of complete summer relaxation that you will always remember. The notes are caramel, vanilla, and mandarin, and honestly, that's exactly what it smells like. <laughs> it's pleasant. It's inoffensive. Um, it doesn't smell super cheap. It doesn't smell super pricey. I sprayed some on myself around 7.15 and it's close to 10 now. It smells like a skin scent on me and I lightly smell it in my clothing. Although it's very, very um, noticeable at first. It quickly evens out and gets pretty gentle. Let me open that box. So on, on their site, their fragrances this size are $20. Now, of course, at TJ Maxx, I got this for, um, it says $12.99. By the way, I did not used to return stuff, and I've learned from other people. I'm like, oh, I'm wasting a lot of money not returning stuff. And it's not that I don't like this. It's just that I have so many fragrances, and I don't love it. I just, I really, really have a lot. Um... So sometimes I like to just try them out and I would never try to return it if I had used a lot of it. But like at the TJ Maxx here, they've got a fragrance table and people are trying them and spraying them. And I definitely have not sprayed 
any more than would be sprayed if it were sitting on that table. So, yeah, I don't feel bad about it. I may keep it, though. I mean, we'll see. Depends on if I have anything else to take back. But, yeah, it's just like if, if I buy some jeans that don't fit, I'm going to take them back. Likewise with a fragrance. So again, with other fragrances, you know, as you know, everything smells different on different people. But so opening it up. There you go. This doesn't look like anything special, but I actually like little simple bottles like this. I like all different kinds of bottles. But that's actually heavy and has some it's a plastic lid, but this is actually kind of heavy, it has some weight to it, which I like. Nostalgia Perfumery, Lazy Summer, and of course they've got the little things on the back, like Cruelty Free and Parabum Free. Of course we all like that it's Cruelty Free. Proposition 65 Compliant, you know, they choose to have that on there. It's, I think it's kind of cute, honestly. And so, like I said, I sprayed it quite some time ago on myself, on my skin and clothes, and... I still smell it. It's a skin scent on me. And it's lightly in my clothing. But it sprays fairly nicely. Just you can see. I don't know if you can see. Um, that's, you can see how wet it is. It's actually a lot. Now, initially, in, initially, it's like almost like that just for a few seconds that alcohol that you get with less expensive fragrances especially but it dies out very very quickly and you really definitely get a vanilla scent um, like I said it doesn't smell ultra cheap and it doesn't smell ultra expensive either I thought it was interesting on Fragrantica that they say it's a niche fragrance house or um, it's interesting for 20 bucks. It doesn't smell niche to me, but it's pleasant. It is pleasant. I think anybody could wear it. It's perfumey at first, but it's not screechy. It, within, I don't know, within about 15, 20 minutes, is definitely more gentle, but not gone by any means. Um, it's definitely worth $20. I like it. It smells like what it says the three little simple notes are. I now get a little bit more of the fruity caramel. But if I had to sum it up, it's a vanilla. It is not a thick, a heavy vanilla that you would get in pricier fragrances, obviously, like Dior or even like Tom Ford. Definitely not that kind of sweetness, but it's pleasant. It doesn't smell screechy like too drugstore-ish and, and it doesn't exactly smell like a body spray either. Although I believe they offer their fragrances and body sprays. Um, it's pleasant. I don't know. I'm going to think about this one. It's a mediocre vanilla smell with a tiny fruity hint maybe just a little tiny 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 bit of a caramelly mostly vanilla though it's all right um i'll think about this anyhow it's not deceptive you kind of get what it says and i could see this definitely be yeah i could see why it's called lazy summer um just maybe chilling in the uh a hammock under the tree in the summertime with some sweet drink I could get that so if you want to check that out that's what I've got on that if you want to look at their actual site like I said they have some unisex fragrances too I'm I really like their branding actually I like his story and I like that it's memories you know you look at some some other um, for example, like um, the Bond fragrances, you know, are all like locations in New York, right? So this is this person's memories that he has put together and, and given a scene to, a memory type scene. I don't know why that's being hard to go on there. It does fit snug. So 
It's not bad. It looks like a cute little gift, doesn't it? I don't think anybody would hate it unless they just don't like fragrances. I think you get exactly what it says. It's a very reasonably priced a $20 or at TJ Maxx $12.99 sweet fragrance not overwhelming and I guess that oh I was gonna say um, some of their other some of their other fragrances on here you know they I wouldn't mind trying it says you know one is called day trip Sunday afternoon um, they've got Country Cabin, they've got Midnight Madness, they've got West Coast, this one's Lazy Summer, they have Back in Town Limited Edition. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued with that. So I'm going to sum it up there, and um, everybody have a beautiful day.